All right, baseball in season, moderate day, phase one. All right, baseball in season, phase one warm up. It's gonna be the same warm up for every day. All right, you're gonna start with a four way lunge. So you're gonna get up forward, side, back, and curtsy. All right, you're gonna do those for uh, two times each leg. All right. Second exercise is bear crawl. So you're gonna go forward and back 10 yards. So bear crawl, forward 10 yards, back 10 yards. All right. Next exercise, three way pull apart. So red band, hold it out. One way, diagonal, second way, third way, opposite diagonal. All right, you're doing that three times through. All right. Then you've got eight glute bridges. So glute bridge, you lay back, feet are flat on the ground, all the way up, back down, up, back down. Eight of those. All right. And then you've got a 10 second rapid response. So it's like position, 10 seconds right there. All right. Warm up is two sets. All right, complex one, it's gonna be three sets. All right, you've got front squats, you've got some plyos, and then you've got knee curves. All right, so for the front squats, I wanna make sure you guys have your elbows forward, all right? The bar should be resting on the shoulders. So if you wanna feel the right position, go under the bar and pick it up without your hands on it, all right? So this is where the bar should be sitting for a front squat, all right? Now, to get the front squat position with the hands, all right? You're going to go thumb distance outside of the smooth part of the bar. All you need is one finger on it. You don't need to have a full grip on it. All right. I usually go with two fingers on it. I'm going to shoot my elbows through and have the bar staying where I can show you. All right. Right there. Now for the front squat, I'm going to keep my torso up. My feet are going to be under my shoulders, slightly turned out, all the way down, and back up. All right. So you've got all right, for the plyos today, we've got depth traps, all right? So you're gonna do it one time off of each leg per set. So I'm gonna start with my right leg, all right? I'm gonna drop down, immediately go into a front jump, back into a vertical jump, lateral, lateral, and vertical. All right, so in it, I've got one broad jump, two lateral jumps, two vertical jumps, all right? Again, I'm minimizing my time on the ground, Start right leg. All right, third exercise. You've got some knee climbs. Okay, so we're gonna do this sitting on the ground this time. All right, I'm gonna go on my right knee. I want my right tibia rotating right here. All right, I'm gonna lock my ankle so my foot is gonna turn because the tibia is attached to the foot. But I'm gonna initiate the movement right here. So for the right leg, I'm gonna go right arm. It's gonna go under. Left arm is gonna go across here, so I'm locked my hip, I can't move my hip. And now I'm gonna rotate out and in. All right, 10 in each direction, perfect. All right, complex two, you're gonna have three sets. All right, you're gonna start out with a contralateral step to press. You're gonna go six of them. So contralateral is opposite hand, opposite foot. All right, so I'm gonna step out. So I've got this in my right hand. I'm gonna step out with my left. All right, reset, second exercise you've got is you've got a hinge follow up press, all right? So our feet are going to be under our hips, all right, so I'm going to bring this out, even with my chest, trying not to lean, I'm going to hinge at the hips like I'm doing an RDL, and I'm going to press out, all right? So the point of this is anti-rotation stability, all right, trying not to let the weight rotating me back here, all right? Staying straight, hinge, press down to the floor. All right, you got 10 of those. And then you got five chin ups. So it's gonna be under hands to find grip. All right, five of those. Again, it's three sets for the complex. That's complex two. All right, third complex. All right, again, you've got three sets of this. We're gonna start out with our heels. All right, I'm just gonna use a barbell for it and a bar. I want you to go as heavy as you can to make it challenging, keeping the form, okay? It's important. You're hinging 
at the hips. Knees are going to be unlocked but not bending, right? It's not going to be a deadlift or a squat. It's already out. So I'm not going to really bend my knees, loading the hamstrings and the glutes, and I'm going to go as low as I can while keeping a straight back, all right? So feet are going to be under my hips, knees are unlocked, shoulders are retracted back, I'm going to hinge down at my hips. I think that's about as low as I can get, and then back up. All right, so you got six of those. All right. Then we've got standing hip curves, okay? Hold on to something if you need to. Torso is going to be upright, okay? I'm going to raise my knee up as high as I can, open the gate, ankle to the sky, continue coming around, pull it under, and then I'm going to rewind with the donkey kick back as far as I can. Ankles up, close the gate. All right, we've got three of those per leg. And then I've got core engaged forward lunges. We've got three on each. So I'm gonna hold the, the band directly out in front of me, hands widen that my head can fit through the middle, and I'm gonna keep it in that position, and I'm just gonna launch. Okay. Now red band's a little bit easy for this. So use something a little bit tougher, but it's gonna be three on each leg. Alright, and that's the end of the um, moderate band.